Hey everybody, this is Brandon here from betteratEverything.info and this is part 3 of my AutoCAD basic series. Uh, in this video we're going to cover how to draw a line, a circle, and a rectangle, and then we're going to use these commands to create a very simple drawing. And uh, I'll walk you through the whole thing. So to start, I'm going to show you how to do a line. There's three ways you can bring up the line command. Uh, you can click the line button which is up top here in the home tab and there's the line button there in the top left by clicking that it asks you at the bottom here on your command line where you want your first point uh, you can pick anywhere here just click somewhere and then it's gonna ask for the next point uh, pick somewhere up and to the right and then the next point you can keep doing these and uh, it's gonna create a separate line segment for each one to end it you can just hit enter and that ends your line command. And there you've created uh, about six or seven separate line pieces. You can uh, select them separately um, and delete them by using the delete key or the E and then enter for erase. Uh, so that's lines. The other two ways you can bring up a line command is by typing L into the command line. There's an L. Or typing in the word line. Uh, now we've got circles. Uh, circle, same way. There's a button up top here. Type it, click it. It asks you for the center point of your circle. And now it asks for the uh, radius. I'm going to type in 1.5. 1.5. There's my circle with a radius of 1.5. Uh, the units will depend on which uh, template you're using. Uh, to bring up the units, you can just type in units. Sorry. Units. There you go. Type in units and hit enter. And that'll bring up your drawing units. Uh, we're in inches right now. Decimal. Uh, there you go. Next up, we've got rectangle, which also has a button up here. It's a little one right there on the right. Clicking. It asks for the first corner point click there, now you can drag it up, down, backwards, sideways, whichever direction you want. Just click. You can also enter in exact uh, distances by filling out the filling out the blank area there where it's highlighted in blue by typing in uh, 4.5 and then you hit tab. I'm going to go minus 8. So that is four and a half inches wide by 8 inches long. Pretty easy. Um, reading the command line or the, the pop-up, the dynamic info, uh, will usually help you through any of the commands you're trying to do in AutoCAD. Uh, up here in the draw, there's also polyline, arc, um, a center ellipse, and a hatch. Um, today we're just going to go over these three commands, but uh, I'll quickly show you arc. It's pretty simple. Pick your first point, Pick your endpoint, and then you can. There you go. Uh, polyline is the same as the line, other than they're all connected when you're done. So I'm going to do four or five points here. Hit enter, and you see it's one line piece. Uh, it's a single element rather than each line being separate, like when you use the line command. Um, I prefer polylines. Uh, it's just cleaner. Uh, if you need the separate lines, then obviously use the line. Um, that's about it. So now we're going to put a few of these to use over here. There we go. Um, oh yeah, sorry, I might have forgot this. Uh, to move around in the model space, click down on the mouse wheel to bring to pan. That's side to side. Uh, roll your mouse backwards to zoom out. Roll your mouse button forwards to zoom in. Uh, you can also do all this through the uh, the view tab, as well as by typing uh, to pan. You just simply type in pan, and then you click down with your left click uh, to move the screen around. Hit enter to get out of that, and then your zoom is bring up the Z. Type in enter, and there you have all your uh, zoom options. You can zoom all, zoom extents, previous uh, window. So if I type in W for window, 
Now I can pick the window that we're going to zoom into and uh, undo to zoom back out. Pretty basic. Okay, now that I've shown you the basic commands of line, circle, rectangle, and polyline, I'm going to show you how to make just a quick little doodle almost in AutoCAD using these. Uh, we're going to make a, a simple little house. Um, this is not to any kind of scale, and it's certainly not uh, very detailed. So we're going to make it uh, 10 by 10. There you go. Next, we're going to draw a line from this corner, just wherever you want to here. As you can see, my roof is not quite centered. We're also going to draw a rectangle from here to there. There's your door. Now we're going to draw a circle up here for a cool little uh, attic window vent thing. I don't care what you want to call it. And let's do uh, use polyline to make a window up here. And over here. And the neat thing with polyline is you can type C for close. So to finish this off, I'm just going to type C, enter, and it closes off the polygon. Pretty easy. Um, we're going to use copy here, which is CO, enter. And you're going to click there, move it over here, and there. Hit enter, you're done. There's our little house. Now you've learned how to use line, circle, rectangle, and even a little bit of a polyline, although we're going to go over that more later. Thanks for watching, as always. Leave a comment on this video or check out the site if you have any questions. Better at everything.info. Thank you.